Aitken hired specialised in tropical hardwoods for the heavy construction and civil engineering industry. As a company, we've been sourcing timbers out of Guyana since the 1970s. The Guyanese Forest Commission, the GFC, have a strong history of managing and regulating their forests to make sure all their forest producers are operating within the Guyanese code of practice. Aitken and Hard, as responsible timber suppliers, take this monitoring very seriously. And as a company, we carry out due diligence on all our suppliers. This includes commissioning third-party audits on, the, on our main suppliers. That is what we're doing here today. Today we're here with Dr Gary Clark, an independent forest consultant who is carrying out an audit on the concession that we are operating in here. So here we have uh, the concession map for the concession that we're in, uh, which is the Timber Sales Agreement 0291, which you can see it here. It outlines all, all the blocks in, in this concession. The Guyanese Forest Commission then allocate the number of blocks that the concession uh, owner is allowed to fell each year. One of the conditions of the TSA is that for each block that is going to be felled, 100% inventory has to be done. So as you can see from this concession map, we've got all the blocks here. These ones in blue are the, the ones that have already been inventorized. And when they do the 100% inventory, they produce a map such as that. So the, the whole block is what is walked and each commercial tree is marked. And so this is a, a very good um, planning tool for, the, for, for when they come to harvest because they know where each tree is. They, they can then plan the skid trails and the extraction routes appropriately to try and minimize any damage to both the ground and the um, standing um, forest. So not only do the Guyanese Forest Commission allocate ha how many blocks they're allowed to fell, but they also uh, calculate uh, what they call an annual allowable cut, which is basically the amount of cubic metre of logs that the con concession holder is allowed to cut from each block. The annual allowable cut is, is worked out dependent on how many years they're going to leave between re-entering the, the, the forest. So one of the important parts of the uh, legality verification and tracking is the pre-harvest 100% inventory. Uh, what that means is that the, the crew will come into a, a block, a forest block, and they will identify all the mature and let me say semi-mature or middle-aged trees that have potential commercial value. They will locate the tree, they will identify the species, they will measure the diameter of the tree, they will measure the height of the tree or the height of the, of the, the log, the stem, and then make an assessment of the quality of the tree. Once they've done that, they will put a tag on the tree that gives the information about the species and about the location of the tree. So once this 100% inventory has been done in a block, we have a, a map, a tree location map, that will show us exactly where all the trees are, the species and the sizes from which we can calculate the volume. Now using this map, it doesn't mean that we're gonna cut every tree down by any means, but this helps us identify which trees will be harvested and which trees will be retained for habitat reasons, for seed trees, for buffer zones in creeks and so on and so forth. So it's a very important part of the forest planning and a very important part of the tracking for the verification. So here we are at, at one tree. Um, we have the... Line number, strip line 19, BBH, 50 cm, species green egg, tree number 153. So when you put this information on the other data here, you book it, everything on here. Just, so when you make the map, you finally get a stock map, you just find the location of the tree with the 
to the, um, to the stock mob. Right. So now, my job now is to check that as part of the audit, which is what we're doing. So I've checked the information that's on the tag. I've verified that the species is correct, the size is correct, and I will take a GBS point and verify back at the office that the location is correct. One of the many benefits of the 100% inventory enables the, the, for, the foresters and the extraction crew to, to plan where they're putting skid trails to minimise the damage to the forest. So if we look around here, we've got a skid trail coming in, which has been wrapped for the stump they've taken and carrying on for a couple of stumps further down. So you can see here, there's still in the understory, we spoke about seedlings waiting for a gap. So here we've got classic examples of that. The, the, the forest floor is littered with seedlings just waiting to come up. Including here's a greenheart seed. That's some um, a seed pod from greenheart. So you know the, the regeneration is, is is right there. It's just waiting for a gap in the canopy so it can can start um, growing. So the as was already mentioned, the the GFC they carry out a lot of post harvesting checks, and uh, as, as as a part of the due diligence audit that we carry out, we come and uh, just confirm they're happening. So in the background here, the, the, the auditor Gary is chatting with the, the forestry guys, asking questions on the um, uh, directional failing, why why this stump has been felled in a certain way, So, which is good to see. Um, one of the main reasons was uh, to maintain the, the, the big green heart in the background here. This, this tree in the background is, is a, a big um, green heart that's been left for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the next generation. Uh, and, and so that this stump was felled away from that and also in line with the with the skid trail so the log could be um, pulled out easily again to minimize the damage to the uh, to the existing stand and uh, while, while they talk through that they're always checking things like the the, the, the minimum dam minimum felling diameter is maintained and that the uh, proximity rules are being maintained and knowledge of general points of um, the uh, for, uh, forest management in, in accordance with the code of practice. To confirm the traceability is all there, the auditor will pick a number of logs at, at random from a, from a stack uh, and pick the log numbers from that to trace through the, the system. So when each log is failed, it, it's given a, a Guyanese Forest Commission a log number in this case, you can see it here, 1291778. They also paint on the log number in case the tag gets pulled off, in case it gets ripped off during uh, extraction. They'll also put on the, the block number that the log has come from, in this case block 53. And then finally they put on the, in the inventory number, which is the tree inventory number for when the inventory is done. Uh, before harvest. That, that is all done in the forest. The GFC number, block number, inventory number. When the log arrives in the, the log yard in here they give it a, a log number which will then turn up as the log is, for, is further processed to sown to uh, sown timber. So the, this is the the concession map for the TSA 0291 and the tree that we looked at in the log yard earlier had come from block 53 in the compartment um, West Pibiri so that's the block we need to go into to, to find the stump here we have the inventory map for block 53 in West Pibiri and the tree we're looking for was number 163 for inventory number, which is here, just on the northern edge of, of the block. We've come down uh, strip line 8 uh, and found the, the stump for uh, the inventory tree number 163 that we were looking for. So what we're doing now is, um, Gary here is just marking it on the, the, the GPS to confirm it is in the right place uh, with what the inventory map has said. But going on the, um, the location of it with north-south and strip lines, it's looking pretty good. Um, as you can see here, we've got the original inventory tag, this blue ribbon, uh, showing it's um, Greenheart, GHT, 
shortage for Greenheart. Uh, DBH diameter at breast height of 62, 62 centimeters. Inventory number 163, which was obviously on the, uh, on the, on the map that we spoke about earlier here. And this is the, the GFC tag that we saw the partner of in, in the logyard. So the GFC tag number corresponds with what we had in the logyard. Through these audits and due diligence surveillance checks that we undertake out here, and in conjunction with the monitoring that the GFC already do, we can be very confident of the reliability of the timbers that we source out of Guyana, thus ensuring an ethically sourced product for the European market.